Hey there guys and welcome back to No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. In the last part we did some stupid side missions and let's go check out Naomi's lab now. See if she has something new in store for us. And why the hell is her old motorcycle there? A new toy not even close to done. Nope, nothing new. That's kind of a bummer. If you're not gonna buy something, get out of my lab. Oh, thanks, you're in a good mood today, Naomi. Fine, we'll get out. Bitch. Alright then, uh... Then there's pretty much one place we can go before doing the ranking battle, and that's... Gay Guy's Gym. Oh boy, how I've been waiting to go back here. I could barely contain my anticipation. Oh joy. Alright then, mister. I'm also starting to think he's not just gay, he's also a drag queen. I mean, he wears makeup and that outfit would look pretty damn hot on a chick, but on a dude like him it's just disgusting. So he's a gay tranny. Or a drag queen or whatever. Oh crap, crap, crap. And he's a bitch with his treadmill. It's like he wants Travis to fall. Although if Travis, like, makes a face plant, then you know what's sticking up in the air, right? Then he's probably gonna make it, take his advantage of that. Only seven more seconds. We can do this. Because then we'll have maximum hit points. Or, higher hit points. Yay, we finished. And I guess he also finished. In his pants. <laughs> okay, are we gonna do the freaking muscle thing as well? Why the hell not? It's not like we have anything else to do, right? Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Punch dumbbells. I mean, who even punches dumbbells? And what kind of a jackass throws dumbbells at other people? I mean, hell, Travis could get seriously injured. Because last time I checked, dumbbells are made of iron or something and tend to be heavy and painful. So, maybe Ryan's like a masochist or something. He likes to hurt people. That, like, that turns him on. And I'm miserably failing at this again. And he's even throwing even more hearts my way this time around. So his love for Travis is growing. Just like something else. When he sees Travis. <laughs> Man, I'm really in the mood for gay jokes today. What should we focus on this time? On your manly chest hair. I mean, really, wear a shirt. You just make me... Ugh. Okay. Here we go again. Hopefully we'll do it this time. Nice. One kick. And a quick barrage of punches. Oh, nice. Even blocked the big one. One, two, three. I'm totally gonna do it. Oh yeah, oh crap, it's not over yet. Come on, no failing allowed. Yes, yes, dodge the hearts. Fuck yeah, perfect run. Maybe I am getting the hang of this. Attack power increased, you feel that adrenaline rush? Well, I'm gonna feel something rush out the bloody door here. And that's gonna be me. Later, Ryan. We'll be back. Because it's gonna be a pretty damn hard game if you don't upgrade your health and attack power. So, uh, up next, the UAA office. Let's go see what Sylvia's doing. Mm-hmm. Are we even allowed to park our freaking motorcycle on the sidewalk like that? I'm pretty sure you can get like a parking ticket if you do stuff like that. Over here. So, this is the UAA office? Surprised? Didn't think it would be so fancy, considering the nature of your work. I'm an agent. Anything less would be uncivilized. Now, take a seat. Let's get started. Right. So, who's next? Charlie and his groupies. Groupies? What's that supposed to mean? Thanks. 
If I told you now, I'd ruin the surprise. Go see for yourself. Fine. Whoever they are, I'll make sure they get a nice close-up of my bean katana. All you feel is ecstasy when you kill. It's like you're getting off. Seriously. You need help. Everybody deals with grief differently, right? Some people fuck at funerals. I cut off heads. Do what you must, Travis. Indeed. Whatever floats his boat. If cutting off people's heads makes Travis feel better, then that's what he should do. Please note this is a video game and General Sakura does not actually encourage you cutting off people's heads in real life. Please take note of that because there's a whole bunch of retards on the internet and you never know what kind of ideas they can get from something. So looks like we're going to destroy university this time around. So, whip out our laser sword and let's get down to business. And by business I mean slaughtering through endless waves of goons first. I mean, why are these guys even here? Why do all the other assassins have goons and why does Travis not have any? Like, where's my backup? Why are there fat guys eating pizzas and wielding axes? I mean, really. It just doesn't make sense. It's Mr. Suda51. Or whatever the hell your name is. And I hate these fat guys. They take way too much hit damage to kill. Oh, sweet bar. That means it's... Tiger time! That's a great choice, Travis, for getting the lottery power up. Let's see, are there any more enemies here to maul? Oh, yeah. Uh, I th you really think you're going to be faster than a tiger by crawling on the ground? Nothing is faster than Travis the tiger. Okay, was that... Yep, that's all of them. Nice, let's go in, kick open the gate. Like a man. Aw, oh, crap, more fat guys. Okay, charge up the beam katana and slash. Hit him on the legs and he falls down. Oh, look, he can't get up. It's like a turtle. When was the last guy... <coughs> when was the last time that guy saw his own penis? Eh, ah, family guy joke. I love family guy. It's so funny. Come on. Oh, yeah, Suplex move, Travis has to be real strong if he can pick up that fat ass. Okay, you there. What the hell is he? He's like swinging an iron pipe around or a baseball bat or something. Oh well, suplex. Head on concrete action. Everyone's favorite. Admit it, you like watching other people's heads hit the concrete. Otherwise, fail blog wouldn't have nearly as much views as it does. Nearly as many, whatever. Okay, there's another fat guy there, so charge up the beam katana and slowly move in. Come on, fatty McFat Fat, go down. Well, that took away like half of his health. Awesome. Oh, crap. Hey, watch where you're swinging with that bloody axe, you asshole. Or I'll punch you into freaking submission and lift you up and slam you down, and then you can't get up because you're like a turtle. And then Travis needs to jack off to get his power back to normal. And... Climax! Oh hey, another one. And he dies in three hits. That's the way I like my enemies. Weak and easy to kill. And slice him down the middle. Alright then, there's some treasure chests here. Let's see what's in there. UAI Killer Collection number 50. And hustled some cash. We be hustling. Oh, hey, another enemy. And another one. Where the hell do they keep coming from? Why does this guy have a baseball bat? He really thinks he can beat out my lightsaber with a baseball bat? Then again, in Soul Calibur 4, you could beat out a freaking lightsaber with a regular samurai sword and stuff, so... Hell, this guy doesn't even have a weapon. He's like, oh yeah, I can totally take this punk. No hand, no weapons. And we get the fireball shooting power up just in time, even though. Pretty sure that's the last enemy. 
Or is it? Maybe not. Or does this one not run out when there's no more enemies to kill? Who knows? I to see gauge increased. Oh no, there's still a few left. Fine, we'll just cut him down the middle. Or diagonally, that also works. Come on, you, Mr. Baseball Bat, you think you're tough, huh? Punk! And you kick your sorry ass. Spin him around, and there you have it. Try not to bleed on the sidewalk, and you know how hard blood stains are to remove from stuff. Alrighty, let's go inside and see what's going on in there. Charlie has countless girls on their hands and knees. A natural born playboy, he's a celebrity of sorts. Even I caught myself checking him out. Just looking into his eyes, it got me hot. Charlie and his groupies have a bond that cannot be broken. So much that when their breathing is synchronized, it's a warning sign that would make even a lion shiver. Yeah, well, Travis can turn into a tiger, and we all know tigers are better than lions. So, I guess this guy is not gonna be any problem at all. Oh, we're still not done. Oh, great, we're in the locker room now. Sweet. Hope it's the girls' locker room. Maybe then Travis can get a little sneak peek of the goods. And, oh crap, that guy had a gun. I hate gun enemies. Especially in a game where you have no real ranged attack options. Or at least there are some ranged attack options in this game, but we don't have them yet. Because they require a different beam katana. One that we need to uh, get later on. Come on, fatty. And yeah, why is he not doing like a... Oh, I think we do have a ground move. Like a down stab. Stab him through the gut when they're down. And slash. Ooh, two in one hit. And we get the fireballs again. Would have preferred the tiger or the awesome shockwave that kills everything in one hit. But this works as well. Okay, any more? Nope, I guess that's all. The red exclamation mark means assassin fight coming up. So, yeah. First things first, though, let's go and take a dump. Because we can't fight with our bowels still full of poop. Because that would only weigh Travis down and he can't fight that well. So, destroy university. Alrighty. I do notice that he never seems to wipe his ass. Travis, you dirty son of a bitch. Anyways, in the next part, we will fight the next ranked assassin. So stay tuned for the next part of No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.